Prayer, a vital part of the Christian life and yet often overlooked or even marginalized. It's interesting that of all the things the disciples could have asked Christ about, what was the very thing that they asked him to teach them? It says here in Luke chapter 11, verse 1, Now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. The month of November, our theme is going to be teach us to pray here at UPCC. How can we understand how we as God's children can speak to him? We're going to have special emphasis And we're going to have sermon series based on the Lord's Prayer to be able to teach us about adoration, about confession, about protection, and about provision. And the way that God works in those integral ways in our life, that'll be the themes of each of our Sunday's preaching times. But we understand to put hands and feet to many of these things, it's important that we have other opportunities to encourage our body in. So you're going to see lots of little things, but our major things are broken down into four specific focuses. First of all, our nights of prayer. Now, every November, we as a church have always embraced having a praise service right before Thanksgiving. And that'll be one of our evenings that we have things going on. So we've decided to take all the Tuesdays in November to do that. So on November 7th, 14th, 21st being our praise night, and the 28th, we're going to open up our simulcast area here at UPCC and allow you to come in as an individual, a group. We'll have a leader in place there. So we can just pray from 7 to 8 o'clock. We encourage you to do that. Tuesday nights aren't good for you? Then embrace each week figuring out a way that you can make a night of prayer for your own self, your family, your neighbors, some of your church family to, to invite in to be a part of that. The second thing that we're going to be doing is called Streets of Prayer. The youth group's going to lead on November the 15th, a special time where we as a church corporately gather together and walk up and down the streets of our valley to pray over this valley and how we can see Jesus Christ glorified and exemplified. Again, perhaps that night doesn't work for you. How about you and your family walking around the block and praying? How about gathering some people from your small groups or from your sphere of influence and praying as you walk around the streets of the valley that God has placed us in? The third thing we're going to be doing is called the houses of prayer. We have our gap groups or our discipleship groups that meet, and we're encouraging all of our leaders to take one of their evenings, one of their nights, and create their gap group time as a time of the house of prayer concept, where the focal point is on prayer. Again, might not be in a gap group yet. Perhaps it doesn't work out for your group to meet during the month in the way that you would like to. Then we encourage you. How can you as a family or gather together some of their church families and create a house of prayer for yourself? And then last but not least, we have what we could consider closets of prayer. Maybe you don't have a closet, but where's a quiet place that you can get alone with the Lord and can be praying to him as an individual on an ongoing basis to connect with him? The month of prayer, the theme, teach us to pray. I hope you'll join us for one or all of these events to make prayer an integral part or maybe a refreshed part of your walk with God.